That's where you're going to get that story. So what we are telling Kenyans, we cannot keep on blaming the government. And as I said when we, are, we were inside there, we are not here because we are supporting to support the government. We are here to pray. But all in all, uh, we need to understand that our help comes from God. Uh, the Bible says, cast is any man who relies on man for help. So we are supposed to call upon our God. And uh, the, the reason why we have come is for us to pray to God, for God to intervene. Because people are, praying the, are blaming the president. The other time they were pray, uh, blaming President uh, Uhuru. The other time they were, pray, uh, they were blaming President Kibaki. The other time they were blaming uh, President Moi. And you see now they are blaming President Luto. But these people, they try their best as human beings. The problem is, if I mean, God has set systems whereby you have to seek help from him. So when we pray to God, God is going to set up the systems. God is going to touch the king. God is going to revive the economy. God is going to do everything that we do. So the mistake we are doing, instead of seeking God and renouncing evil and turning to God so that our God may, may intervene, we are blaming the king, we are blaming the president, we are blaming the leadership. And what I can say is, now I heard some people saying, uh, to Najipanga, the assassin to toy who you come out of Kure Liberia. Like even at Akusem, Ada Kama Utamutoa, Naweke Mugine, Bado Matoke Taku and Iyo Iyo, Kwasababu Musada, where to talk a Kuawatu, Musada, where to Natoka Kuamungu. These are all the instruments through, uh, through which God uses uh, to help the people. But our help comes from God. So I'm calling upon the people. We come, we pray, we seek our God, we renounce sin and everything so that our God may intervene and then our king and our president and those who are in leadership may be able to rule with ease and with the blessings of God. Apostle Julius Subi, I'm an intercessor and uh, I'm here uh, at the national uh, prayer that has been organized by uh, Leverand uh, Michael and uh, the, the team. My message is on revival. All the challenges that uh, our nation is facing, the solution is the revival, the church to awake uh, and uh, just uh, believe God for transformation. On a global level, all nations are experiencing a lot of challenges. But uh, as uh, Mike has said, our help is from the Lord. And the Bible admonishes us to pray for the leaders that God has given us. So we believe that things are going to change, things are going to be okay. God pulled us out of COVID-19, uh, you know. So we believe that whatever challenges that uh, nations are experiencing, we are going to come out of it mm. in Jesus' name. Mm. What we, you know, uh, God is a God of reconciliation. And as the church, he has called us to the ministry of reconciliation. So for us, it is, uh, what does the Bible say? The Bible has called us to live at peace with everybody. So when our politicians come together to speak about uh, things that benefit the, 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 the one inch of, of, of this country,